Hey guys, welcome back to the Kanani and Weinman YouTube channel. Mr. Beal here back with another social skills lesson. Today we're going to be talking about how to have fun with our friends. There might be times that when you're building relationships with friends or getting to know people that you guys have different ideas of what is fun. And sometimes you might not always agree on what to do for fun. But we must learn when we to be a good friend means we have to listen to our friends ideas and their opinions and so then we then do sometimes what our friend wants to do and then sometimes maybe our friend will do some of the things we want to do so we're going to talk a little bit about that um, today and you're going to meet a couple characters but wait yep i think i hear a couple other friends who are wanting to tell us about a situation that they came up with. Who is it? Oh, it's us, Mr. Real! Oh, it's Puppy! Hi, kids! Well, yesterday, Snail and I had a situation where we couldn't agree on what to do. Should we tell him, Snail? Um, sure. Let's tell him. Well, it went like this. Hey, Snail, I want to play outside. Well, I want to play inside. No, let's play outside! Let's play outside! You can grab sticks and, and throw things and chase things! Well, I don't want to go outside. There's nothing to do outside. Well, there's nothing to do inside! Oh, dear. You guys had a problem, didn't you? Did you solve it? Yeah, but it maybe wasn't how we thought we would. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can maybe have a better way to solve it this time. Do you think Puppy and Snail were having fun with that conversation? Doesn't sound like it to me. Um, they probably weren't having fun together, but they probably needed a little help. Maybe a, another adult could have helped them figure out a way to have fun. So, before we get into our story, I'm going to do the most important thing we have to do is get our discussion buddy. Someone to talk to as we do um, our lesson. So, pause the video and get your discussion buddy. Okay, well I hope you have your discussion buddy and you are ready to learn today and ready to do some discussing and building some good friendship skills so that when you build these friendship skills, you'll be able to use them with the many people that you will meet in your life. So, let's start. Here's our first uh, picture, and this is a picture of Paula and Kyra. Now, when you look at Paula and Kyra, I want you to look not just at them, but all that's going on in the picture. And I want you to make a good hypothesis, which means a good guess, about what you think is happening and why. So go ahead and take a close look here, and I'm gonna have you pause the video and discuss. Okay, well I hope you had a, a good discussion there with your discussion buddy. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the story. So again, this is Paula, and this is Paula in the blue shirt, and this is Kyra in the red shirt. <clears throat> and they are friends, but they are having a problem. Oh, that reminds me of something. Do we have a way of solving problems? It, we do, right over here. It's our problem solving steps. Remember them? Let's review them. S means say the problem without blaming the other person. I think we have a problem here that we can say. The next thing is to think of solutions. And we have to think of solutions that are safe and respectful. Then we explore consequences, which means explore the solutions and decide are they safe and respectful and should we use them. And the last one is to pick one of those solutions. Pick the best one you can think of. So. What's the problem in this situation? Well, if you look at Paula and Kyra, you probably have made a hypothesis about what is happening. And um, now we can talk about what has happened. So, Paula and Kyra want to play with different things. Kyra wants to play with puppets, but Paula doesn't. Paula says, I want to build with these logs. Kyra says, but I don't want to. I want to play with the puppets now. Hands up if you've had a problem like this before. 
I know I have. That's why we need to do our problem solving steps. And we need to start with the first one. S. Say the problem without blame. With your discussion buddy, can you pause the video and figure out what the problem is? With your discussion buddy, pause the video and say the problem. Okay, well I hope you're able to identify the problem and maybe it's the same as what I have here. So, the problem is Kyra and Paulo want to play this, want to play different things. They don't want to play the same thing, which means they would be playing with only puppets or only logs. They want to play different things. Paula wants to play with logs and Kyra wants to play with puppets. Different things. Does this mean that Paula doesn't like to play with Kyra? Pause the video and discuss. Okay, I hope you're able to pause and have a good discussion. So does that mean they don't like each other? No. She just wants to play with a different thing. Are they still friends? Yes, they are. Yep. A friend is still a friend, even if you like different things or want to play different things at different times. So let's think for a second and we're going to use the picture to tell us how are the girls feeling? Let's start with Paula. Look here at Paula. How is Paula feeling? Look at her eyes and her mouth and with what she's doing with her hands. You could even look at her shoulders. Does she look happy? No, her eyes are kind of focused on telling Kyra what she wants. She is not smiling and her shoulders are kind of down. She might be a little disappointed about not getting to play the play, not getting Kyra to play the same thing as her. Now look at Kyra. Kyra looks like she's trying to explain that she wants to play with puppets. She is not smiling and her eyes don't look like she's happy either. So we have two girls that maybe are feeling a little disappointed, frustrated, or unhappy. Let's help them solve the problem. Again, let's go back to our problem solving. We need to say the problem. And the problem is that Paula and Kyra want to play different things. Okay, so let's say the second step together. T, think of solutions that are safe and respectful. So we need to come up with some solutions, some solutions that are safe and respectful. With your discussion buddy, pause the video and find some solutions that you can help Paula and Kyra come up with a, a solution. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, well I hope you're able to pause the video and see if you could come up with some good solutions. Okay, now, how would Kyra feel if Paula said, fine, I don't wanna play with you? Do you think she would like that? Listen to how I said that. Fine, I don't wanna play with you. You can even see with my eyes how my head is scrunched, my eyes are pointed down, and my voice does not sound very happy. That does, I do not think Kyra, or Paul, Kyra would like that if Paula said that to her. It would not be kind. And what happens if the other way, where Kyra said to Paula, Well, you're not my friend anymore. Do you think that's going to make Paula feel good? No. We don't even have to pause the video and discuss that. We can tell with those words, those are not kind words. Those are not safe and respectful solutions. They have the problem, but they are not thinking of safe, nice ways to handle it. We need to think of the best solution. So, let's see if the solution they pick now fits the one that you and your discussion buddy came up with. So, what they could do is that they could say, how about we set a timer and we will play five minutes with the, with the blocks and logs and then we'll stop and then do another five minutes with the puppets. Paula and Kyra like that decision. They decide to work together and take turns to play fair and to play what each other likes. That's a good, that is a good, safe and respectful solution. They can explore how that would go. How would it go? If each person got to play the thing that they wanted, I think that would be something that they both can agree on, which means they can pick that solution. They walked through the problem, solutions, 
the consequences of those choices, and then they picked a solution to take turns playing each what each other likes. That is how you build good friendship skills, and that's how you have fun with your friends. Not always getting what you want, but being a friend and sometimes doing what they want, and then hopefully they will also be able to do something that maybe you want sometimes. So, the best way is to say the problem without blame, think of solutions, explore consequences, and pick the solution that both of you can agree on. I hope that helps you with your friends and that you can make um, good choices with your friends going forward. Have a good day.